Hey everybody, it's uh, June 8th, 2017, and this is Chuck Baker Vlog number 404, and it's uh, Thursday. And how the heck is everybody today? I really want to know, so put a note down there in the comments and tell me uh, what you've been up to and how you're doing. Today I have six news stories to talk with you about, so let's get to it. First one here is Appeals Court Expresses Concern Over Woman's Jail Stay. This woman was arrested and she was put in jail in Mississippi for over 90 days before she got to see a judge or to make bail. So she had to stay in jail 90 days. And their um, excuse for this was that in Mississippi, uh, court only occurs a few times a year. So she had to wait till they <coughs> had a, the next court date, which was over 90 days away but uh, you know that to me that just seems like um, uh, it's kind of a violation of the Constitution when you are supposed to have a uh, a speedy trial <laughs> well that's not very speedy when you sit in jail for all, over three months and before you even get seen by a judge but um, they're hoping to get that resolved in Mississippi, but uh, I don't know. Seems kind of weird to me. Um, and then the next story here is uh, Lakewood mother files suit against a police officer who broke her teen daughter's jaw inside a library. This article has a video with it, and it's a video from a uh, camera inside the library and also from the officer's body cam and this girl she was listening to music uh, with headphones on or earbuds and the officer comes up and starts arguing with her um, he had told her to turn the music down and she complied and then she had her foot up on a chair and he came back and told her to take her feet off of the chair, and she complied. And then she was sitting with her brother, and they were looking at a movie on his iPad. And he comes back again, and the officer tells her to leave. And uh, according to the article, she stands up, and he's standing in front of her, and she says, excuse me. And then he grabs her and drags her through the library and smashes her head on a couple of uh, rolling bookshelves and then when they get almost outside the library uh, to the library entrance he falls on top of her and uh, that's when her uh, jaw was supposedly broken so then he gets her up and drags her out onto the concrete steps of the library where she's bleeding um, and yeah, this was all caught on uh, surveillance uh, camera inside the library and on his uh, body cam. So, and the uh, department says that he didn't follow proper procedure and used excessive force. So, I think this officer was kind of in trouble. Uh, next article here is uh, U.S. State of California signs accord with China for green technology development. Yeah, since uh, Trump pulled out of the Paris uh, agreement there, the individual states are uh, following it anyway. So uh, California is one, and there's other states that are um, following the agreement uh, that the uh, for the climate change. So now, even though Trump pulled out, uh, we're still trying to stick to it, so hopefully that'll work out and we can reduce the temperature rise on the planet. Next story here is U.S. Congress calls for charges over Turkish embassy brawl. You remember uh, when uh, the Turkish Americans were protesting outside the Turkish embassy in D.C. and and the um, security guards came over and started beating them up. There wasn't much said about it then, you know, the 
but now the Congress is calling uh, for um, the uh, charges to be filed against the uh, bodyguards from the embassy. So if anything develops on that, I'll be sure and let you know. And then the next story here is mom's son finds cocaine in toy from restaurant vending machine. This mother and son, they were at a restaurant having dinner, I think, and the kid wanted a toy, so he got a um, toy out of one of these little vending machines, you know, you get the rubber balls and stuff, and that's what he thought he had. He thought he had a little stress ball, and he was playing with it, and it broke open, and this white powder all came out, so they called the police, and the police came, and they tested the powder, and it was cocaine. Now, the police don't think that the restaurant or the vending machine company had anything to do with it, but they're still not sure of how the cocaine got into this vending machine in this little plastic container. Uh, but they're investigating that. <clears throat> and then the last story here, woman falls off golf cart, dies after landing on wine glass shards. When I first read this headline, I'm thinking, what is a wine glass doing on a golf course? But that wasn't the case. She wasn't on a golf course. <clears throat> she owned a vineyard with her partner, and they were uh, going down the uh, grape fields to, and inspecting the vines. And I, it, the article says he made a turn, and she fell out. And when she fell out, she fell on these wine glasses that she was holding in her hand. And that's what killed her. She she bled to death from that because she fell on the shards of glass. <clears throat> now, he was uh, charged with driving under the influence, uh, but they're saying that they don't think anything he did actually caused her death. So maybe he won't have to serve too much time. But, yeah, it, it's like, they, I, they should have seatbelts on those carts, I guess. But, <clears throat> you know, that's kind of a freak accident. just goes to show if it's your time, it's your time, you're going to go. But uh, <clears throat> if um, any of you want to uh, see any of these articles, uh, as always, they're on my Google Plus page. Also, uh, links to these articles are down in the description, so you can look at them at your leisure. And that's all I have for today, everybody. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And tell your friends and family about my channel and my videos. And also, please take a look at my social media sites, G+, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you missed yesterday's vlog, just click on the image. And also, please check out my website, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org. Till tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.